What's going on guys, it's Brian Superman's Comics. In this video, I'm gonna give you my picks for comics that are heading final order cutoff this coming Monday night, the 5th of April, 2021. Of course, always that caveat, DC Comics, you are hitting final order cutoff before then, so make sure you check with the LCS, check with online to get those pre-orders in. Like we always say, pre-order before final order cutoff, guarantee yourself those copies, that way you're not chasing them on release day. And if this is your first time on my channel, I do a lot of comic pop culture related content. So please consider subscribing. This week we're getting into it right now. Starting with Marvel Comics, we get Beta Ray Bill number two. I'm a huge Beta Ray Bill fan. I'm a huge Thor fan. I like the first issue, enjoyed it very much. Issue number two is hitting final cut off. We just have the one cover and it's by a one man wrecking crew, writing, author, cover art, Daniel Warren Johnson. Fantastic series so far. Looking forward to number two, and it's hitting final art cutoff this coming Monday. Also from Marvel, we get a big anniversary issue with Miles Morales number 25. Here we get what they're calling the Clone Wars saga of Miles Morales style. Also, we get to see the full extent of what the assessor did when he kidnapped Miles all the way back in issue number seven. Big anniversary issue, has some great covers for it, but also I want to point out the sponsor of this video, Black Cape Comics, has their own store exclusive for this. That's right. They are only going to have 1,500 trades available to purchase and 600 virgin copies of this available to purchase. And these are going to go on sale this Saturday night, April 3rd at 8 p.m. Eastern. So pick out your favorite covers or check out that kick-ass store exclusive at blackcapecomics.com. Then the last one I'm going to talk about from Marvel this week is Silk number two. This is number two of a five-issue miniseries. But... This series has been great, even though it's been one issue in. And Silk's getting a lot of interest lately, finally, because I always felt Silk was one of the underrated characters within the Spider-Verse. Yes, there's the people that did collect her, but now we are starting to get more of an audience and a lot of people are starting to take notice. This has that cover A, gorgeous cover by Yin Hak Lee, but what a lot of people are paying attention to is that rising star of Rose Besh. And she's got that one in 25 incentive variant for this. A lot of people have taken notice of this, especially since she posted on her social network with an Instagram or Twitter. A lot of people have been pre-ordering this already, but see if you can get your orders in because this is one that's going to be really hard to find on release day. Getting over to DC, we get Batman number 108. And yes, Miracle Molly is all over the place in this issue. She's on the gorgeous cover A by Jorge Jimenez. She's also on that cardstock variant by Art Germ. There's also that Ricardo Federici 1 in 25 variant, as well as that 1 in 50 foil Art Germ variant. This is a big issue ever since 106. I mean, before 106. I've been talking on this channel how James Tynan's run has been one of the better runs of Batman, and each issue keeps delivering, and 108 doesn't seem to be any different, especially with Miracle Molly. We got Punchline, we got Miracle Molly, we got a bunch of great characters coming within that Batman universe from James Tynan. Another one I'm excited from DC Comics is Robin number one. This right, this Robin ongoing series that picks up from those backup stories in Batman number 106 and Detective Comics 1034. Here we have writer Josh Williamson, one of my favorite writers in comics. Love me some nail biter. Absolutely loved, loved his flash run. So here we have him writing Damian Wayne with artist Gleb Melnikoff. There's a cover A as well as a wraparound cover B. But either way, ongoing Damian Wayne series, I'm on board for this. Which is going to get us now into the indie spotlight portion of this video. Once again, this is brought to you by Black Cape Comics, blackcapecomics.com. All the books we talk about in this video, as well as others hitting Final Order Cutoff, can be ordered at blackcapecomics.com, as well as some great store exclusives, like the one I mentioned earlier in this video. But the first one we're talking about in the indie showcase is Two Moons number three. It seems like Image Comics right now is putting out hit after hit with some great series. Yes, you have the plug and play Department of Truth and the crossover with issues also hitting FOC this week. But Two Moons is one of those series I absolutely love. Big fan of horror comics, no doubt. Big fan of Civil War history. And this cover checks both those boxes. If you haven't been reading Two Moons, highly suggest you do. Just like I say, if you haven't been reading Stray Dogs, there's another comic I highly suggest you read as well. Also sticking with Image Comics, Shadecraft number two is hitting FOC. Issue one came out. We already know there's a Netflix series behind this series. If you haven't been reading this series, if you like horror comics or if you like, say you're a fan of Deadly Class, this is very similar, except it's got more of that horror supernatural element as it takes place in high school with the female protagonist. It's important to know 
Netflix series, edition number two, hits final order cutoff this Monday night. Also from Boom Studios, Once in Future number 18. There's so much attention given to Boom series lately, especially with something that's killing children, and then now we have Berserker. But I want to go back to Once in Future and how I really, really suggest readers do not sleep on this series. This is another great series. I don't think a lot of people are paying as much attention to it. Here we have issue number 18. It's going to have that regular cover. It's also got a 1 in 10 black and white Dan Mora variant, but more importantly, it's got a 1 in 25 incentive variant. At issue number 18, we all know the trend for these books as they get higher up in the issue release, the orders come down some. So getting a 1 in 25 might be hard to get on release day, so definitely get your orders in for FOC. It's also important to know that this is the last issue in this arc, and the series will be going on hiatus until August. But gorgeous incentive variant, do not sleep on once in future. Definitely recommend picking this up. And as we always do at the end of this video, we have a bunch of late printings this week hitting FOC. There's a lot of late printings, in fact, and the first one we're talking about is Geiger number one. That's right, that Jeff Johns creator owned from Image Comics, issue number one, hitting second print. You're gonna have that regular second print cover, but there's also an incentive one in 25 variant, which is worth paying attention to as well. From Image, also we get that Shadecraft, issue number one is getting a second print. Stray Dogs, another series I've been high on, been talking about in this video. Issue number two is getting a second print as well. And from Marvel, Alien number one gets a second print. Moving over to Boom Studios, Berserker number one gets a third print. This is the one to pay attention to. I heard this is a limited print run on this third print. So get those orders in, make sure you secure yourself a copy. Also from Boom Studios, we get Magic the Gathering number one getting its second print. And from Scout Comics, Black Friday number one is getting a second print. And then that new hit series from Vault Comics, Witch Blood number one getting a second print. Vault going back to those sweet ass homage covers. This is one definitely worth picking up. And then lastly, from DC Comics, Nightwing number 78, Tom Taylor goodness getting a second print. Been talking on this channel a lot about how great Tom Taylor is. He writes banger after banger when it comes to storylines, whether it's Deceased, Suicide Squad, even getting over to Boom with Seven Secrets, Tom Taylor, Injustice, Nightwing. I was happy to pick up. I took a break from Nightwing, but I picked up issue number 78 because he was writing it. And for good reason, it is sold out and is going to second print. But there it is, guys. Those are my picks for books that are in final cutoff this coming Monday. Make sure you get those orders in, whether it's through your LCS, whether you do it online. Secure yourself copies, and that way you don't go chasing them on release day. This is Brian with Superman's Comics. I'll see you guys in the next video.